This is the new one from Castle and Britain. videos today Castle Lambretta engine mount and offset cones let's go and take a look at it okay here we've got a Lambretta chassis which we've kind of modified a little bit because it's going to be for a race project so don't take too much notice of that because what we want to just talk about now is offset engine cones so here's your standard type of engine cone and as you can see it's concentric the hole in the center is concentric with the diameter on the outside so you have a fixed position for your engine mounting bolt now there are available offset cones which allow you to offset the bolt lower or further forward wherever you uh, decide to put it uh, but the disadvantage of them is when you tighten up when you start to tighten up your engine mounting bolt they tend to move around and so forth if they move around then your engine starts to go out of alignment because the cones are going everywhere uh, and you can have a problem of going on off on off trying to get them to line up I don't know some people might uh, end up gluing them in position or something or or punch putting a pin punch mark or something something to hold them in position maybe if you put a pin punch mark in the line with the the little uh, slot in the in there you might be able to get them to stay in the position that you want but they are really awkward this is the new one from Casa Lambretta and the difference with this one is you have a fixed bolt on this side and just one nut on the other side and the beauty is they are d-shaped because there's a flat on the shaft and this flat on the shaft stops them from moving about so they've got a d here a flat on the inside of there flat on the shaft that lines up and now we have engine mounting bolt where you can fit it in position and there you can twist the bolt and it slides around your cones to have it in whatever position you want and it's fixed so it won't go like this so the cones always say stay in line with each other they can't go out and therefore you get a twist on your engine mounting so this is a big step forward for offset cones right so we should be able to if i can get round here okay so i'm not going to put any grease or anything because it's just a demonstration so we can literally fit our engine cones like that the other one is the other side put the shaft through first so you get the right alignment and mine does not want to fit what's going on here then it doesn't fit on my chassis well that's a disappointment obviously you can see it's the first time I've tried it in this is a Spanish chassis and it seems that the machining on the inside they haven't left enough room for the concentric bolt so I'm unable to fit it 
I don't know whether other people have had this problem. Original cones. Original cones, no problem. They're flush. So it's not a problem with the chassis, but the bore on the inside of the chassis on this is a different size. So that is a problem. Because these are so offset that it's probably, let me see, you probably need about what? An extra millimeter out of there. So basically, I've got to find an enormous drill. I mean, if this was off, I could put it in the lab and turn it out, but I can't. So you can see the step up the inside there. There's a little step on there, on the inside of this shot, on the inside of this engine mount, which is uh, it's a problem. I am disappointed. Nothing ever goes to plan. Never think you can do a video and just step up, oh this is from Casa Lambretta, it's got to fit. Yet again Lambretta has uh, shown us the way. Right, got a drill bit but it's really not big enough and I'm going to have to take it out with the carbide burr and work my way across this bottom bit here to get rid of that uh, material there because for some reason maybe in the factory they just didn't machine it fully out on the inside I don't know maybe you had a Friday afternoon jobby but the diameter on the inside of my uh, engine mount there simply not big enough to put this offset in so I'm gonna have to take material out I'm afraid and it's gonna take me a while I'm only going to do the bottom section because there's no way I'm going to have the cone the other way around. So it's only the bottom section I'm interested in. And it's just going to take, I don't know, a couple of hours and a few battery charges. Okay. Yeah, I've been grinding away and this really isn't turning out as I wanted it to. Uh, as you probably expected, uh, there's way more to grind out than I expected in the uh, engine mount because this bar is so, the cones are so offset. This is probably the most offset cones you're ever going to get. So if you want clearance, this is the one to go for. But the amount that it offsets is a lot so if you haven't got the clearance within the chassis inside there this just fells on it and when you try to slide it through it's on it's just on the piss so you've got to take out I mean a lot of chassis it might go straight through maybe in a center chassis it might be fine because it's obviously been designed to fit but I've got a Spanish chassis and it does not fit so I've been working on it but in the meantime, I'm just going to show you kind of what it does uh, within the engine so you've got an idea. And maybe by the end of this video, I might have it actually fitted in my chassis. <laughs> right. This is our offset bar. So it's got a flat on here, on this part, and a flat inside these uh, offset cones. So they're kind of D-shaped on the inside. So they slide on, but when you rotate, they have to follow the shaft. So they can't get twisted in the chassis, which is always a problem. So when they go in, one will be like that. The other one will be like this. Okay.
So when your cones are inside, you can rotate and position your engine relative to the chassis, more or less where you want it. And that is going to give you clearance on reed blocks. Because that is about, we can measure that, let's have a look, how much it actually uh, moves. And that gives us 13.73 millimetres and then all the way down it gives us 21.6 so that's quite a difference but compared with the original it's going to be halfway in between that, that those two figures so the original will be halfway where it's sitting with the cones. You've got that position which is full clearance and then that position which is... So we work that out. 13, 21, 8 mil. So that gives us 8 millimetres. So it's 8 millimetres from max to minimum. So that will give you a 4 millimetre clearance from the original. So if you change over to this system, you'll gain a full four to five millimeters of clearance on your uh, on your engine mounting. That's with it on max compared with standard. So we'll be generous and call it five. So if that's touching in the standard chassis, you've now got 5mm clearance, not 8 because obviously you've got the negative and the positive of the cones. So the original will be half of that. So that's pretty good. That's a good 4mm of offset. It's quite good. They are a nice set. I'm going to now carry on and do some more grinding. Because I want it to fit. Obviously, this engine's not going in. <laughs> this is just an engine I've got uh, lying around so I can do the demo with it because it's clean. Closer, but it's still not right because that should fit flush still not right it's still on an angle right it's still pissed up like this way more material got to come out this is going to take forever I'm not going to show you all of it but I'm going to be here for a while see you in a bit Right, thanks again everybody for coming and watching another one of my uh, videos. I'm still grinding on the chassis. It's still here at my feet. I still haven't got it to fit yet. Hope you have more luck than me. I really like the kit. I really like this uh, from Casa Lambretta. It's a fantastic idea. But unfortunately, it doesn't fit on my Spanish chassis. I'm pretty sure that on Italian ones it will. Hope you have. More luck than me, I'm still grinding. See you all later. Shit. <laughs> this is the new one from Castle Lambretta.